Hello, today I'm here with a new tag video and I have done a lot of tag videos the last couple of months but I think it's very fun to do tag videos and I decided to do my own tag so this is a tag made by me I have searched a bit but I didn't find any tag like this but I didn't search the whole YouTube maybe so if there is a tag like this it may be I didn't find any, so yeah, we just get started. And the tag is called The Bad and the Boring, and it's 10 questions about makeup. So I think we just get started. Question number 9. A foundation finish you don't like, and I don't like the matte foundations. You already know this, I have talked about this before. I don't like matte foundations, I want my foundation to be a little bit glowy. I don't know if it's mostly because I have dry skin. So I want to have a little glow in my face, but I don't like matte foundations and not this like velveteen satin foundations. I don't like that. Question number two is the worst mascara you have ever tried. And I usually like the most of mascaras, but there is one mascara that I, I have like a hate love relationship with that one. And it's Isadora's Insane Volume Lash Styler. And the mascara, the formula of the mascara is good. But the wand on the mascara, somebody did a terrible job. It was awful. It was like two... I will put a picture up on it because it's hard to explain. But as you see on the picture, it's a hole in the wand. And all the mascara just gathered in that hole and when you put it on you it was so much mascara so it was like you had free eyelashes it looked awful and it ruined so many makeup looks for me and when it worked it worked perfectly but when it didn't work it looked awful so it's a love-hate relationship but I will not buy it again because I can't have a mascara that works sometimes and doesn't work the other times. Question number three is one thing you have tried once and then thrown away. And when H&M Beauty released their new beauty, um, I bought a lip... I don't know if it was called a lip mousse or something like that. Or a lip. I think it was called a lip mousse and that is the worst product I have ever tried. When I tried it, I put it on my lips and this it was just patchy and didn't it didn't look good and it wasn't opaque. So I went over a second time and then it took away all the things I have put on the first time so it wasn't opaque and it wasn't it was just it was so freaking bad I don't know who did that product but it's the worst makeup product I have tried and I hope they don't have it because nobody should buy it it was so bad question number four is the most boring eyeshadow palette you own and uh, I think I have to say this one from Too Faced this is like the only thing I own from Too Faced and uh, this is the Too Faced and Kat Von D collab and this is this is so boring it looks like this I have used this one I think and um, I don't get any inspiration at all and I didn't think it was a good match with the Kat Von D side and I don't think I don't know what to do with this I don't look at this and feel like, yeah, that's a look I want to do. Because I can't think of any look because it's it's too matte and four shimmeries. And the two matte is a white and a pink. So this is so boring. I have used it once. But I can't declutter it because it feels strange to declutter the half of the palette. And I don't think, can I sell this? When I'm just selling one piece. I don't know. I This is just a boring palette. It just takes up a lot of space. 
But uh, yeah, I still have it. Question number five is a makeup trend that you think is boring and you want to go away. And I don't like this Instagram brows. So you know it's like perfect carved out brows that just look like you have glued them on. I don't understand why you would want that kind of brows because I don't think it fits in with the makeup, not with the face or the eyes. So I I think it's starting to get away a little bit, but it's still here and I don't understand it at all. Question number six is the worst liquid lipstick you have ever tried. And except from that one from H&M, it is Colourpop's Ultra Matte Lip. I think this is these are so bad. They dry out my lips like crazy. I can't wear them. They are hard to work with because they dry like immediately on me and they are so dry on my lips. So I hate these ones. It's the worst I have tried. I would really love to try more liquid lipsticks from Colourpop, but I I am afraid to buy more and hate them as well. So these Ultra Matte Lip from Colourpop is the worst liquid lipstick I have ever tried. And I have tried a lot of li liquid lipsticks. Question number seven is, what color do you think is the most boring? And I think it's gray. I don't like gray. I'm okay with gray lips, but gray eyeshadows, I like never use them. I don't think I have ever used them on this channel. No, so gray eyeshadows, I don't like it all. Not a single bit. I like gray on my nails and on my lips, but not on my eyes because I. It just like go together with black and no other color, so I don't like gray. I think I will never like gray eyeshadows. Question number eight is what brand do you think is coming out with the most boring things? And right now I think I have to say Urban K. I don't know what they have done. <laughs> Keep doing this last couple of years. When I started to get into makeup I thought that Urban Decay was a really good brand and really fun brand and an edgy brand. And I was looking forward to their releases like the electric palette and all this full spectrum and stuff and now they are like everybody else and they it's supposed to be the edgy brand I think like with the naked heat palette they came out like a year after everybody else with a warm neutral palette the naked heat palette and the, we have seen it before. And then they came out with a little, the mini heat. It was the same thing there. It was so already done. And then they come out with a Born to Run palette. And I, I think it's a boring palette. It doesn't... The packaging is boring. I think the colors are boring. And then they come out with the mini Born to Run palette. And I was like... What the hell are you doing Urban Decay? This is not fun at all. The Kaleidoscope Dream with Kristen and Leanne, that's a fun palette they have done. But all these other palettes and like the Naked Cherry, we have seen it before. Just do something crazy instead because you are good at it. You make good colors. You make good colorful colors. You don't have to do like this boring palettes all the time. Uh, so. I don't care about Urban Decay the same way I did a couple of years ago. Now I follow them on Instagram, I do. But it's not like I'm I'm not liking their pictures, I'm not excited when they are coming with new releases because it's just the same old boring things that we already have seen. So Urban Decay shape up and become what you were. You were better before. Question number nine is which step in your makeup routine do you think is the most boring one? And I think I would say eyebrows. I do my eyebrows like every day. I still suck at eyebrows and I hate doing it. It's... They never turn out as I want to and they never turn out alike. 
They should not be twins, I know they should be sisters, but my brows are not even cousins. So I hate doing my brows because it's so freaking boring and they don't turn out good. I have tried to color them, but it's like I, I still have to do something with them because the color don't cover it all and then the color goes away and you have to do it again. Yeah, yada yada yada. And uh, yeah, if somebody just could fix my brows like every day, that would be great. So, the last question, question number 10, is if you have to choose between having a good base and a bad eye look or a bad base or a good eye look, which one would you choose? And I think I would choose to have a good base and a bad eye look. Because I think a good base can save more than a good eye look. I think it's more noticeable if you're having a bad base or if you have a bad eye look. Because I think more, even if you're not into makeup, I think you can see if a base is bad. But if you have bad eyes, I don't think that people that are not interested in makeup would notice it. Yeah, so I would go with a good base and bad eyes. So that was all the, the question for this tag. I really hope you like it. I will leave all the questions down in the description box. And it would be so fun if you want to do this tag. And if you do it, please let me know so I can watch your video. and. If you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!